Good evening. This is Danny, aka Witch Hutch, and this is going to be a spooky episode of Mother. Mm. I've been promised Halloween. Halloween town. <laughs> a whole town of spookiness. Um, our sort of host, not a guest, <laughs> is here. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Adam A.K. Swoonberg. <laughs> Welcome to Mother. Who's actually going to be playing? Or Earthbound Beginnings. <laughs> yes, we are headed to a spooky haunted manor today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's the Danny, aka Witch Hutch, narrator of Dracula. Let's get into it. We are still in Snowman, though. As you heard from the intro, I changed the song. The smash arrangement of Snowman was playing. Uh, we got a new friend last time. A lot of stuff happened. We conquered. The place people said could not be conquered, Duncan's factory, where I fell <laughs> off last time. We shot multiple rockets. One of them helped us. Yeah. And uh, now we've got a new party member. We found a hat. An old we lady gave it to Bigfoot us. Bigfoot. Bigfoot was here. Times. We beat Bigfoot into the ground. <laughs> and then, yeah, we have Anna now. She's a PSI Wunderkind. Let's get back to the train, though. Oh, if we don't run into any big feet. It's the polar bear! Oh, no! I wanted to see them before we left. They Let's... have uh, pink nails, like they went to the salon. Oh, strong against cold. It's chair broke, and now it's in a really bad mood. It's playing dead. Oh, this guy's tough. Only took one damage from the frying pan, unfortunately. Let's see how Nintendo does. There we go. Okay. Polar bears. Very scary in game and in real life. Yeah. So I'm glad we survived <laughs> the <terror>. that. <laughs> the terror, yeah. Okay. I think we're at a good level with Anna. We took her to Magicant. We did Lloyd and Anna running through Magicant. Three new PSI, jeez. Wow. Uh, I think we have to go to State to check that. There we go. Oh, Life Up Gamma. Let's see, and Beam Beta. Life Up Gamma is gonna be good. That should heal even more. PSI Shield Beta. She got Hypnosis now. She has so much stuff. Remind if, me what Brain Shock does, because it sounds dramatic. It makes them feel weird. We did that on somebody last time, and they were like, they couldn't get any sense of the battle because okay. their brain was funky. I think we have ample money to take the train. So let's ride the Paradise Line. This guy's so unconfident about the train. <laughs> uh, we don't want to go all the way to Santa Claus Station. We're going to Reindeer. Halloween. We're going to go to Halloween in a second. <laughs> <laughs> So Reindeer is a non-essential town, but there is some good stuff there that I want to get before we go to Halloween. Then Anna might be a little stronger, too. Are there good jingle bells? Maybe. I think the music is going to be mostly normal. Doesn't have a special song like Snowman. I'm not sure what was going on with the chair. Was that like a fairy tale reference? Uh... Maybe think of Goldilocks. Yeah. Did Goldilocks break the bit one of the bear's chairs? Yeah. Papa Bear? Okay. She, no, I think all the things that were good were baby bears. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to be this Marcy? <laughs> the old fortune-telling man on top of the mountain is really friendly. He'll give you as much stuff as you can possibly carry. Ooh, so that's one of the reasons why we're here. Thank you, Tank. Welcome to the early birds. Oh, thank you. That'll pop up in a second, I would guess. Unless that was just a renewal, then you were already part of the early birds. I think you were already. <laughs> Thank you so much. Poking your nose into other people's business is what makes playing games so fun. I suppose. I heard there's a prophetic old man in the mountains who's lived for 300 years without ever catching a cold. Don't you bring a cold to him. Uh-oh. He's like in a little Petri dish. The death truck! Oh no! Death truck? Um, it's goth! This is the toughest- It is a spooky episode! <laughs> <laughs> this is the toughest of trucks, I believe. Let's try the sticky machine on it, and then what's a very powerful PSI? I think Freeze. There we go. There it is. Thank you, Tank, for joining the party. Freeze, I think, is the strongest single target PSI that we can get in this one. Okay, we didn't have to worry. Nintendo just smacked yeah, it. Yeah, you handled that pretty quickly. With a bat, yeah. We're so strong now. And we're in the farmlands of Northern Reindeer. So this place is known for commerce and agriculture. And not I guess... Not reindeer? Not really. Maybe they... <laughs> they. I was going to say grow reindeer. Maybe they raise reindeer. 
I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, they are pretty affluent here, I've heard. But that also means there's some crime, some ne'er-do-wells and miscreants around. Oh. Because of all the wealth in this area. A lot of the citizens retire to this place because it's very pastoral. It's close to the station. It seems nice, right? A lot of farms so far. Mm-hmm. It is one of the bigger town areas. And I noticed a lot of people have dog houses it's here. Sprawling. Yeah. I think that's how you're supposed to know that it's rich or maybe rural, is that there's dog houses all over. Some of them don't even have normal houses. <laughs> it's just a dog near it's a dog neighborhood and some of them have people. Dog town, USA. <laughs> <laughs> there's two one person to every two dogs. I've heard that some people have died from catching a cold. Just a cold. I don't like when people are hiding yeah, in the bushes. More than one person has talked about a cold now. I'm an overshadowed man. Sometimes it seems like I've co disappeared completely. Is this the guy from Magicant? Like his normal uh, counterpart? Because I wonder with Queen Mary and Great Grandma Maria, maybe everyone in Magicant has a normal counterpart. Oh. That's a. That's yeah. I don't believe in psychic powers at all. He I, doesn't believe in you. Well, what about this? Nothing happened. Uh, <laughs> he walked away. He doesn't believe it doesn't work. Have you seen a man with a sinister mustache? A sinister mustache. He's a big time scam artist. If you see him, let me know immediately. Guess we'll come back if we I do like see that him. The, that he's all hunched. <laughs> Her. Please don't die in a dash. Sorry if that comes off as distrustful. Yeah, this area is... She's been is, burned before. It sounds like it, by the man with the twisty mustache. <laughs> Why are you dying in dash? <laughs> Alex says that they would love... They want to move to this theoretical dog neighborhood. <laughs> it does sound pretty good. Try to make sure we have enough health. Oh. Speak in a way. In case it wasn't clear, the dog would be sort of like your landlord. <laughs> like, you don't have a dog, the dog has you, sort of. You pay rent and bones, though. Yeah. You wanna be her? <laughs> have you heard the dragon's lullaby? So that was her mind. She was thinking about it, because I used telepathy on her. She oh, didn't say anything she was just normally. Thinking about... But she was thinking it in a question. I guess, I don't know. Maybe she's asking herself if she's really heard it or not. <laughs> Gimme something, anything. Gimme! Please. Pretty please. I'll give you something in return, of course. of course. What will you give me? Well, I just I'll bought this. I <laughs> hope not. <laughs> just bought this $5 orange juice just for this little kid. Thanks. In return, here are some fleas and lice. <laughs> Take them with you. They'll protect you from loneliness. It feels like uh, we're getting spooky stuff already. It's filled with <laughs> fleas and lice. The flea bag. Throw nice. it at the enemy and see what happens. See what happens. See, if they took all the dirt and fleas and stuff away for Earthbound Beginnings, that wouldn't make as much sense, because they're not, you know, they don't have flea friends. Hmm. That's why we're playing this version, folks. Info in the description. Have you seen a man with a huge gut? He ate five orders of dirt and then ran off without paying. Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you see him, let me know immediately. He's growing f crops in his gut. Let's say we have. Looks like he got away. Guess I'll just go and catch some speeders then. There's pigs all over this town. Do you believe in God? <laughs> I'm creeped out by reindeer already. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, my stomach's so full. Bah. Oh, maybe that's the guy who ate the dirt. <laughs> full of dirt. <laughs> they hid in the woods. Cold's been going around no. lately. Not you. No. Ah, this sucks. No. I don't think I bought any mouthwash. I think I specifically was like, we don't need mouthwash anymore, right? Sorry for the flashing, but we're very Does sick. Does anyone? Did any? Do you know of someone bringing the cold up to the old man that's never had a cold? Hmm. Oh hi. <laughs> I don't a... think we should do that. Welcome. Just... Three hundred per night. Hmm. I'll wait. I don't think that'll heal our cold, even by sleeping in the hotel. Let's make sure we're not missing anybody. Yeah, don't you have to go to a hospital? Probably. Did we talk to these people? If you have really strong cold medicine, they'll buy it for a lot at the store. Yeah? Where 
pretty good. Hmm. I love this town. Halloween, the next town over, is scary though. Oh. I feel like getting colds, people eating dirt, asking us about our beliefs. There's a lot of scary stuff here already. We're gonna have to maybe find a cure. Man, having a bike would be so convenient. <laughs> if only I was in Earthbound instead of Mother 1. Yeah, we're only losing 1 HP every time it flashes, but it's annoying. Oop. So many people. This is a residential area. Try to keep the noise level down when you are walking around. Oh. Hey, neighborhood association over Stop here. Stop sneezing so loud. Whoa! I'm doing research about baths. <laughs> it's for a university project. <laughs> it's the truth, I swear! Oh, he's peeping. Yeah, he's... Oh, creepy. Ew. Ew. Only Ninten has a cold. It's a teen comedy bit <laughs> from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I walked through the tunnel once when I was young. I went to see a dead body. <gasps> what? It's the... It's someone from Stand, Stand By Me. They also went on the railroad tracks. It's real, just like Bigfoot. Oh. I heard that there's a haunted house <laughs> in the town of Halloween. I don't know about you, but I'd never go anywhere near that place. Well, we just rode by on the railroad. I bet you've thrown food into the fields to get rid of it, huh? Well, I guess it can't be helped. Since this is a game and all. <laughs> She's talking about breadcrumbs? Maybe that's uh, how we're feeding the reindeer. <laughs> I think if I go north somewhere here, I gotta find where to go. There's a way through the forest up here. Let's see if we can solve this problem we got. Oh, we can go in this house. I don't think any of these dogs can get your gold. Oh, it's a healer. Oh! But, unfortunately, you know, I may not believe it, I'm a healer. They can only refresh or soften. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have the sprite limit again. There's too many people on one line. We can at least save in case Nintendo dies of the common cold. You can only refresh and soften. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm a limited healer. But your sheets... They could be so soft. No, he softened stone. <laughs> There's a lot of these guys that know how to unpetrify, but I've not seen many things that can petrify at this point, which is unnerving. Don't jinx yourself. Yeah. All right, I think this might be the way to go. Again, we are in some uncharted territory for me, because I have not played this deep into the game. This feels right. There are skunks up here. And I'm losing HP. I think I had 150 HP earlier, and now I'm down to 91. Just keep an eye on Ninten. Make sure that boy doesn't faint. Okay, I think we go this way. Look out for bar bots. Most of these are weak enough now where we can just smash them. The phone was phasing in and out. Yeah, we saw that in yeah. Snowman, because now that we have three party members, putting too many people on one sprite plane. Yeah, it does that if you line it up. Ooh, a chalet oh. of some sort. Let's get that kid not flashing. Yeah. He's still <laughs> sick with flashing syndrome. I'm actually in Okay. <laughs> I think this is the the Black Lodge. Not even I can hold a normal conversation with him like this. Does he have a cold? Let's try telepathy. I can't talk very well without me dentures. He needs teeth. Let's get his dentures. Remember the teeth from Encyclopedia Mother that everyone fixated on? Was like, why are there teeth in this strategy guide? We have to find the, his teeth. We gotta find his teeth. He misplaced them somewhere. Tyler Typical asks, RPG. Did Nintendo bring tomato juice in case of skunk attacks? We did not. We don't have much but yeah, ointment and bread. I don't think that's an item, but it would be fun if it was. But that would be one more thing to carry and worry about, I suppose. Speaking of which, who's got the bread? Anna. Let's put some breadcrumbs back so that when we go try to find the teeth, we can come back here easier. Before nice. we leave for Halloween, please remind me to buy a couple loaves of bread. Put it on okay. the grocery list. Uh, 
You should buy a couple of those bread. Oh, this isn't that far. Oops. I'm always talking to signs. It is easy to lose items in the vicinity of this sign, <laughs> so please be careful. Incredibly enough, you found dentures under the sign. <laughs> Oops. Let's check them out. Blech. Dentures. Unnecessary if you make sure to take care of your teeth oh. and brush regularly. Brush they're, your teeth, everyone. They're still wet. No. Blech. But don't brush them too hard. <laughs> <laughs> or they also fall out. Yeah. Teeth are very finicky teeth that are way. hard to keep. You gotta be just, just yeah, the Goldilocks. Luxury bones. Speaking of Goldilocks and the bears, you gotta be just right <laughs> with them. And don't worry, everyone's teeth are different, so it's annoying and hard to take care of them. <laughs> okay. Let's get this guy's dentures back before I die. I'm down to 62. Wow. Ashley hates when she leaves her dentures under a sign in the woods. I told you, it's relatable modern RPG. Yeah. Oh, exchange Don't for finding all? my dentures, I'll <laughs> share with you my secret to living a long life. Oh. And that secret is to gargle all the time. If you catch a cold, go and gargle until it's gone. Here, take some of my special mouthwash with you. Mouthwash? Whoa, whoa. You're gonna be so minty. Jeez, did How he just... How much mouth mouthwash did he He filled up our inventory with mouthwash. <laughs> I, I should have made more room if I realized he was going to do that. Let's use it on Nintendo. There we go. Nice. Well, may you live a long life. Thank you, sir. Oh, you want more mouthwash? All right, here you go. From now on, Just it'll cost you $10, though. Oh, he's not. <laughs> gargle, gargle, spit. There we go. So yeah, now we can buy mouthwash for really cheap. It was like 175 I think, normally. Wow. We honestly have too much. <laughs> Unfortunately, get a cold. none of the healing PSI actually heals colds. It's all like sleep paralysis. Yeah. Stone, like, can't heal a cold with psychic powers. Can't heal a cold with the power of thought. My extensive collection of mouthwash. Probably expired. We had floss that expired from the dentist. I didn't know floss could expire. Because they'll give you floss, speaking of teeth. I just didn't use it, and I was like, okay, I guess it can expire. Yeah, it was a weird color, and I said, I don't want to put that in I'm not mouth. putting that anywhere near these chompers. <laughs> okay, so that's that. There's some more stuff to do in Reindeer, though. We didn't even hit up the department store, did we? But at least our screen isn't flashing anymore. Yeah, that wasn't the guy in the... Mountains, was that it? was the old sage, yeah. Oh, he lived okay. for 300 years because he gargled. He never gets a cold because he uses mouthwash. That feels like a commercial from Big Dentist. <laughs> so, my mom is superstitious about certain things. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking she, about her. She actually does insist that you should, um... Oh, should we read this? <laughs> I'm starving is what you expected me to say, huh? Well, don't worry, I won't. I am starving though. It's the it's the <laughs> redux of the kid from uh, Mother's Day. Um, but anyways, my mom. Anytime you go to like a party or like a big gathering, and this is a thing she started way before COVID ever was a thing, she insists that you should take a Q-tip and dip it in Listerine, and then swab the inside of your nose with it, and then you'll never get a cold. Um. I, I, that's just a fun anecdote that it's not real medical advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know but if that was really working out does. for her. <laughs> I'm trying to find the department store. Where is it? That's the hotel. There it is. Okay. Let's see if we can sell these, actually. Because didn't they say you could sell them for a good amount? Not that I want to keep a couple, obviously, but... Yeah, you need those. 87. That's a good money maker. Profit. Unfortunately, we do have to sit here and talk to Marcy if we want to sell them. <laughs> Let's just leave like one per person. I think is probably fine, right? Yeah, that's the. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you not get sick, but also you have, depending on if your mouthwash burns or not, you're sticking it up your nose. Yeah, and. I'd... I will admit I did it once. <laughs> just to see. Just to see what would happen. I think she also told me the soap that we have is good to ward off rats. I That's like another wives' tale thing, that the scent of certain soaps. It's just suburban witchcraft. 
All right. Yeah, I'll leave a couple. We can always drop them if we really run out of room. <laughs> <laughs> the rats may come into your house, but if you wash with the soap, they won't walk on you in the, in the night. Yeah. That's like the <laughs> the thing you would say to mess with people as a kid would be like, did you know spiders eat toothpaste? So that when you go to bed after brushing, they mm. yeah. Good bat. I think we already have a good bat, don't we? Let's check my stuff. Yes. We could get a boomerang, even though we uh, just brought a frying pan. Ashley says, remember to buy us some bread. Yes, thank which you. Which I had forgotten already. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I think I just want like two things of bread is probably good. And we'll get three. Because yeah, we uh, are actually gonna go. Oh, look, strawberry tofu. They sell it here for almost a thousand dollars. A thousand. I'm gonna hold Ooh. off for now. That will be useful later. You know, you look like you have a big appetite. <laughs> Thanks, lady. <laughs> She's hardly working. She's just sitting here judging us. What's this guy sell? There's no sign. If you're looking for a weapon, check these out. <gasps> the death beam! We gotta get that for our little stinkling. And bombs. A death beam? We have a laser beam already, but the death beam. We Mom, have, can we, we get the death beam? We can't afford the death beam. He can't what? We can't afford the death beam. Well, now we can. I just sold a bunch of mouthwash. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> I should ask Dad. He's the one with the money here. Yeah. Welcome. It's true. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You could get one death beam. Plenty for a death beam. Small price to pay for a death beam. Let's give that to Anna. So the death beam is a better version of the laser beam. Ooh. Oh, it's not a trick. No, it's not like the real, what was the ultimate weapon? Yeah. I mentioned we shot the rocket off to get the train tracks cleared to ride the Paradise Express, but we also shot the real rocket, which was a scam. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, they took our money. It was like 3,000 or something, wasn't it? Death beam. If that cowardly Lloyd were to wield this, he'd really be something. So he, <laughs> he can't actually equip it, I don't think. It's just like you use it. Called the plasma beam in the localized version because I think they want to avoid mentioning death in a lot of uh, <laughs> English mm. translations, typically. Okay, so well, there's a guy to talk to. I want to make sure we do that. And then I think we can leave reindeer. And head to Halloween. Death beam acquired. Alright, look for uh, the mustached guy, because he was mentioned earlier, but we should try to find yeah, him. Yeah, the sinister mustache. Well, the dirt guy didn't seem that bad, so I don't know if the mustache. I don't trust the pigs. Where is he? <laughs> He's like in front of one of these buildings, I think. Like the big buildings. Oh, oh. Got stuck in between the bushes there for a sec. Hmm, we talked to all these people. It is such a big city, I want to make sure we're not missing anyone. This door is suspicious, but it doesn't open. Where is this man? Yeah, there's so many check houses. All the dog houses. He's been stealing dogs. <laughs> it does feel like, yeah, this is an affluent area because of all the houses, too. Not just the dogs. Hmm. I haven't seen that man. Didn't someone else ask us something that was yes or no? Was that- that was a different cop. Yeah, he was like, did you see someone with a big belly? Well, the other guy was like, did you see the mustached man? Yeah, that was- that was a police- Where was that guy? Because the belly guy was near the other cop, I wonder if- Oh. Yeah, it makes me think. Do you want to run around while I try to look? He's shaved and he's blending in, says Ashley. <laughs> Don't forget, you can hold B to run. <laughs> he looks like he's in front of three very tall gray buildings. Which there's a couple of those. Oh, if you go right from the burger shop, which is down towards the I'm south. I'm sure that's where I am. Oh, hmm. It looked like he was he there. Have a mustache. We'll try to go straight left from the burger shop. Follow this road. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
could be past the department store. There he is. Okay. Oh, Let's has... talk to him. Yeah, he's got is a mustache. It sinister? Whoa, hey kid. Hold on to this money for me, will ya? Heard you were looking for me. If you run any cops, act like you never saws me. Sure. Don't run off with it now. Whoa, how much did he give us? Uh, that was a lot. Like, Oop, come here, buddy. I can't get a fix no. on him. Quit bugging me. I'm trying to make a getaway here. Yeah, okay. that was quite a bit. All right, let's leave. <laughs> I said not to. I don't remember where that cop was to, to talk to him, but we already said no, so we, we held our end of the bargain up. We could probably stay at the hotel while we're here. If I remember where it is. Wasn't it down? That's the department store. There it is. It's expensive, but we should heal. Mm. 300 per night. That's not too bad. Okay. Listen, we, we got 500. 500, from, from yeah. Mustached man. Ashley Mathmaster helping us, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Alright. He paid for our hotel and then some. And I will he uh, save one more time before we leave. So yeah, not, not that much to do in Reindeer, but I think the mouthwash is kind of important considering we can't heal from colds and everyone wants to sneeze on us in this game. It seems so. So yeah. it's I think going here, doing that, and then going to rain, or, uh, Snowman is helpful because then there's even more colds over there. But I think it was better the way we did it where we got Anna's hat and then just went straight to get her. Because now she's with us. All right, I think we go north from the farm to make our way back. Yeah, through the farmlands. And then we can get back to the train station and we're heading to Halloween. Yay! Yay, scary Halloween. stuff. Did we talk to both of them? I think so. We talked to all those people. All right, no one else in the train station. Let's go. No one comes back from Halloween. They all go there, and they don't return. Nine dollars to Halloween. Pretty cheap. It's right next yeah. door. We could have uh, actually walked across the tracks to get there. But then you don't get this fun song. Yeah, that is. We're mostly paying for the song. <laughs> yeah, see, it's really close. Probably would have run into some of the really tough enemies, though. Okay. Here we are in Halloween. Ah! There's enemies in right town! Away. There's eagles! There's Eagles? $4, $423. Oh, so it wasn't an even huh. five. Let's use the laser beam for now. And then start using some more PSI with Anna. I mean, we could probably just smack these guys. They're not that tough. At least Ninten can one shot an eagle with a baseball yeah. bat. Just gotta be careful of Anna. She's taking a little damage. The laser beam broke! No! <laughs> so I mentioned before, most of the reusable items have a 12.5% chance of breaking every time you use them. Oh, and no. wouldn't you know, that was very convenient. The laser beam held out until we bought the death beam, which is a better version of it. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. Worked out. Okay, let's heal Anna with some herbs. I'm gonna try to keep people above like 40, 50, ideally. Don't want anyone getting killed because it is a huge inconvenience when one of your friends dies. Let's see. Uh. Still got that big bag of herbs. Yeah. We could top Lloyd off, but I think he's okay. What are those little things on the ground? I don't know, but there's barbots jumping out of it. Oh, so this town is also known for uh, commerce, but mining as well. Oh. So the story is someone struck gold and found it in the hills near Halloween. And it's called that because everyone parties here like it's Halloween night all the time because of how... Mischief. Yeah, how affluent it is. So I bet there's probably people that commute from reindeer to Halloween because they're so wealthy. But right now, it doesn't seem so nice. There's lots of eagles. E yeah, there's quite a bit of eagles in this town. Yeah, not even spooky <laughs> eagles. I agree, Ashley. I feel like... They could have a fun hat, if nothing else. I feel like the developers were like, so America, simple, you know, our national bird is an eagle, and then they kind of were like, let's set eagles to pigeon. 
Yeah, why wouldn't there at least be crows if it's a spooky town? Well, they're, they all died from smoke inhalation. <laughs> <laughs> they're all smoking elsewhere. Um, but yeah, I feel like the amount of eagles is like roughly equivalent to what you would find with pigeons. Is the yeah. feeling I'm getting. It's America. Yeah. We need soap that wards off eagles, yes. <laughs> Let's see if they sell that here. Jeez, we're starting to get way more enemies now. It's time for the death beam. I think that'll hit all of them, hopefully. And then, oh, we have uh, we have more healing with An Anna now. We could use PSI shield. Oh, let's try to magnet some PSI. Oh. Although I haven't used much yet. Good things to remember, though. I'm gonna do PK Beam as well. Lots of beams, even though we're fighting robots more. Death Beam! beam. Please don't break, you were very expensive! Okay. Oh no, the little saucer's gone. That doesn't hit everything. We need PK Fire for that, actually. I'm remembering. Just smack them at this point. Yeah, Conserve smack our. those little saucers out of the air. There we go. Lloyd, he's getting so strong, our little guy. <laughs> he's level 25. Oh, Nicholas. Thank you so much. They said, I always loved your content. Been watching since Animal Crossing New Leaf days. Keep being a cool dude. Thank you, Nicholas, for the super chat. Thank you. And the creepy melodies. <laughs> all those birds in there. Man, we're getting so much stuff. Uh, Anna's uh, level... 15 now. Nice. I think she's okay, HP. Yep, okay. Keep going. There we go. A hotel. Hi, oh. desaturated boy. Welcome. <laughs> it's $18 per night here. Is that red from Pokemon? Will you be staying? He actually looks like the kid that was hanging out with the mouthwash guy, right? I guess. Only $18. This is a bargain. Should we stay? I'm sure it'll be pleasant dreams. Pleasant dreams! Oh my gosh, did you write this? We got a little regular toy here. Okay. Cheapest hotel in the game, it feels like. Thank you. Ah! He was a star man! Oh no! <laughs> Waiting behind the desk. He took your money! <laughs> He'd like to come and kill us if we pay $18. <laughs> Yeah, if he didn't, he'd just be like, oh, okay. Let's do a PSI shield on Anna. Let's try to hit him with the sticky machine. And oh, then... yeah, he's got beams, right? Yeah. We just healed, so I'm not... Oh, we can try PSI block on him. Yeah, they're very proficient <laughs> in psychic abilities. Psychic he says he looked psionic. him in the eye and he wanted to battle. <laughs> oh, no! Lloyd! Uh-oh! He's the only one without a Franklin badge, and he got hit by PK Beam no! Gamma. What luck. He's uncon. Just... Uncon. <laughs> uh, I don't know if PSI block worked, but it was a little too late. Hit him with the freeze, Anna. The Starmen do stand smugly. He's in a defensive stance. Yeah, they're smug. Even with that, you can't see their face, and they seem smug. I agree. I wonder what... Yeah, are they robots or are they guys in suits? Like I, I robots in suits. If you're going off of Gort, the inspiration, it was a robot from yeah. the day the Earth stood still. But it's debatable. It's David Bowie. But then they have weird little tentacly arms, like an alien. It's David Bowie. <laughs> That's the Star Man. Well, we we got a cheap uh, room, but at what cost? One well, of God's sweet little angels now. It, you can can you still sleep in the bed? No, that was the only time we get to use the inn here. I don't think there's okay. a hospital either, so we might have to go back to Reindeer. No. Yeah, a red snake. A red snake. <gasps> Kill it. <laughs> uh, so these are the rare Not enemies. A rope snake, though. But yeah, I think the rope snake in Mother Three is referencing this. But these are almost like the metal slimes of this game. It tried to run away, it didn't work. Kill it before it runs! Oh, it has pretty good HP. Wish I could just jump right to her attacks. There we go. Not too tough. It ran away, but it didn't work! Okay, keep hitting it! 
This is just like the Metal Slimes in Dragon Quest, though. You have to beat it before it can escape to get that sweet, sweet EXP. It keeps failing! Yeah, we did it! Alright, first try. Um, Roski says maybe the Starman is a metallic goop robot. Oh. Which, yeah, perhaps. Metallic goop. Almost like the like, T-1000 like or something? Yeah. Hmm. Well, this predates Terminator 2. Oh. It is, I think, post-Terminator 1, for sure. Pretty close to Terminator 2. Uh, I don't think we have... There is a PSI that we can get that I don't think Anna has yet, but we can double check. Yeah, I think it's called, like, super healing, but there is a way to revive people. We just don't have it yet, unfortunately. Alex! <laughs> Our friend is dead and you're smiling. Mischief. We could actually... Would it be easier to go back to Magicant? We're pretty close to the train station at this point. Oh, there's a hospital here. Hospital! I didn't think... Hmm. Spooky hospital. Oh, there's a guy. Yes, yes. I can examine you. Well, that doesn't work for this. We need to talk to the front desk person. She's the one that revives people. But she's not working today. <laughs> this is her vacation time. Yeah, I think we're in trouble here. We're close enough to the train station. I think that's faster than going to Magicant, reviving, going all the way through Magicant, having to go from lower Thanksgiving to, you know, it would be a whole thing. West downtown, Halloween East, Halloween residential area. Where did we come from? No, that's not it. I feel like the train station is up from this area. Perhaps. There it is. Yeah. Okay, this shouldn't take too long. And then I'll be a little more careful with Lloyd. I wish we had a third Franklin badge. That was kind of a freak thing. Running into that star man. Who could have foreseen that someone would attack <laughs> us from the, the creepy hotel? Well, you know what? We're going to save a little money on train tickets. Oh, yeah? I think so. We need to go... Yeah, reindeer's the closest. Or wait, yeah, we saved a bit of money. We saved nine dollars because our friend's dead, so we didn't need a ticket. Oh! Lloyd's just flying beside the train. They don't charge the spirit. Yeah, we don't. Next to you. <laughs> Come on, Lloyd. I like that he's stuck between us. So the hospital. There's too many towns. I can't remember where all the stuff is in each one, but it should be pretty close down here, right? You wanna run? I'll double, double, double check. Danny's in control. <laughs> the hospital I is... Found it. You found it? Oh good, thank you. <laughs> Can I get in the door? Ghost rad free. Whoa, whoa, this place is weird. We should have gone in here before. I don't have a cold. <clears throat> oh, that wasn't a cough. It's just something I say out of habit. Cough, cough. Okay, good. He scared me. It's a little too real. <laughs> the cold this year is especially bad. Made me so scrawny. I was worried they were going to get me sick in here. Yeah. So that guy diagnoses other stuff if you need it, but... He might be able to cure a cold, I forget. The mouthwash is useful either way, because we have it on, you know, portably. Look at that weird amalgam of Anna and Ghost Lloyd. Wow. Lloyd was just brought in, is still unconscious. Please pay three hundred dollars. Wow! There goes all my ill-begotten mustache man money. Well, so glad that you recovered, Lloyd. Come back anytime. He's good uh, to go. Jedi says, "What happens if Ninten dies, but the rest of the party is alive? Is it just game over then?" I think you get to control whoever's next in line. So it would be Lloyd's adventure. At least that's how it works. Lloyd's adventure. In <laughs> it's the weakling, stinkling adventure. Um, I think that's how it works in the other games as well. In Mother 3, instead of actually dying and becoming a ghost, you just, like, have a very sad uh, party member following you tiredly. Mm. Which is pretty relatable, too. Let's just hit this guy, because I think we can take him out. Especially if that happens. Yeah! See a death truck. Smash! You're no death beam. Okay. Well, I didn't save, but we're okay. 
<laughs> Anytime someone says something like that, it makes me nervous. <laughs> like, uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to go to Santa Claus. It's not that time of year yet. I don't want to go back to Santa Claus. We just got through winter, mostly. All right, Halloween. I'll, I'll go to Halloween anytime. Yeah. Oh, we could have walked there this time. Yep. And increased our chance of death. Yeah, famous last words. Everyone's going to timestamp when I said that. <laughs> if later in the video something horrible happens. Okay, we took the Starman down, though, so the risk of being PK beam gamma again is low. I hope. Little saucers. Barbots can do it, too, I'm pretty sure, though. Uh-oh. So let's hit this guy first. I'm trying to conserve a little PSI with Anna, because she's already used quite a bit. We have those PSI stones. Oh, yeah. Gotta keep that pee, -pee up for the haunted house, hopefully. <laughs> Luckily, we're doing pretty good uh, health-wise, it seems like. Especially if Nintendo keeps smashing everything before it can do much. Yeah, a the alien presence is becoming strong again. And Aliens also... And <laughs> Where's my ghosts and ghouls? I think I mentioned before, but I feel like um, supernatural stuff like yokai and things and supernatural things in like the alien sense are often lumped as similar in Japanese culture, I've noticed. Mm. Oh, PK fire! PK fire! PK so this fire. should hit everything now. Hold on, Anna. Oof. They're going after the weaker ones. Yeah, the beam only hits one. We didn't even need fire now. It doesn't do that much damage, but it does hit everything. It does around 20. So yeah, the pencil rockets Lloyd was using, those are basically PK Fire Alpha. But now mm. Anna has. Alright, let's try to get over to the residential area. And make sure everyone's topped off. So I'm worried. She's okay. Good. Mostly good. Perfect. <laughs> Double check. Nope. Okay. Yeah, the music was creepy in there. I should have known. Mm. The music always gives and you the they hint. Were, they were gray. Hmm. Maybe they are a goop robot, and that's how they were a different form. Like, they were, like, a boy, and then they, like, oh. went into Oh, we won! <laughs> nice. It ran away. We got nothing. At least we beat the first one we found. But yeah, that would that would make sense that they could like morph like a T one thousand. Yeah. Can I help you? <laughs> Ooh. It, maybe. Unique sprite. The whole downtown area was so full of monsters that everyone fled here. Oh, that might be. Oh, we didn't get that much money out. Let's see. Let's talk to them. That. Oh. <laughs> that rosemary girl gives me the creeps. Okay, that wasn't them. There is a lady that, if we don't have money enough, is going to be a problem for us. Oh, there's a little kid up on the cliff. There's kids everywhere. The ghost started showing up at my house, too. Finally left because it hated how cramped it was. <laughs> um, I was going to say, we're getting some Mother's Day vibes again with the poltergeist and haunting stuff is returning a little. The haunted house belongs to the Rosemary's. Hmm. Did they have a baby? I'm a cheery mailman, la la la. Do you know where the Rosemary's moved to? La la la. I can't complete my job. <laughs> Have you heard about Halloween's haunted house? Yes. In that case, it's best that you don't know. <laughs> hmm. No, I want to know. Tell us. They say you can hear a piano melody coming from inside. Even though the house is empty. Ooh. Sounds like other... Not even a piano is in there? Oh, sounds like a different house. House. <laughs> oh, with a Rose, piano. he says Rosemary's baby. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> the mailman's trying to find the Rosemary family's new address. If you see him, tell them they live much further to the east. La la la. Do they live in <laughs> Snowman now? Makes me wonder. Hmm. Oh, that's where we came in. Alex says maybe you can do some trick or treating in the residential area. Hmm. I wish. It's not night. Do you want to run around candy. a little? I'm going to check where Should we're going to go. talk to anyone? Yeah, or? if you find anyone. 
Okay, oh. so there was the four houses Please. there. I think we need to go to the right. There's more. To the right. Yes. To the right. There we go. Thank you. There's another lady. Oh, you're such a charming boy. Why, I could just gaze at you forever. Hmm. If anyone can turn our mansion back to normal, I'm sure it's you. Here, this is the key to get in. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> she gave us the key. That wasn't creepy or anything. The haunted key. I think it's called the ghost key in the beginning. It's haunted house key. Key to the Rosemary's Mansion. Ooh. Our home turned into a hive for ghosts and monsters. So now we live out here. Yeah, everyone basically fled from the downtown area mm. into the reg residential area. We don't have much room in our inventory. Hey, a baseball boy. <laughs> Just like me. I'm the most upbeat person here in Halloween. Everyone else seems so gloomy, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, huh? To be honest, I'm not that cheerful a person either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to be like the kid that was like, you don't say much, do you? I don't know, maybe I'm actually the gloomy one. Aww. Okay, let's see. This is the lady. I don't have enough money, but let's Special talk lady. to her anyways. I'm more like a game assistant than a citizen of this town. Surely there are things. You've forgotten to jot down notes about, right? I can give you a hint for a thousand dollars. What do you say? Sure. You don't have enough money. That's too bad. Please come again some other time. Oh, she didn't disappear. Okay. So if you say no, she will actually leave. So maybe we'll come back. I, I know what hints she gives, though. So if we don't want to spend the money on it. She has three hints. But she will permanently leave if you say the wrong thing, so... Hmm. Gotta be a little careful. I think this is the right way. Private property of the Rosemary family. That sounds right. House. <laughs> Do we want to go up or over? This has Sweet Home vibes. This has Yeah, we just vibes. watched the... Not the best movie, but Sweet Home. The movie that the Famicom game was based off of. The inspiration for Resident Evil originally. Occasional interesting practical effects because it's an older movie. But... Yeah. House yeah. is definitely a better I movie. I like House better, yeah. If you're looking for Japanese uh, interesting... Because there's a cat with gl like glinting eyes. Like a lynx. If you're looking for interesting old Japanese horror movies, try Haosu. Um... It's got some trippy stuff, though. And Sweet Home is on YouTube if you want it. Somebody restored it all. But yeah, the game Sweet Home is a lot more interesting. It's locked. Good thing you have a key. Nintendo locked the door and went inside. Ooh. Haunted. A mouse. A mouse. Eek. It's like the one from the beginning. A suspicious rat. I am not. Hey, what's up, you using? She's to meet you. She's to meet you. <laughs> The rat with the with the piano. <laughs> That's a, a common internet joke. That's not. Awesome. No, you got me though. <laughs> the room with the piano. Hehehehe. <laughs> oh, what? Suspicious rat. I am not. The room with the piano. Hehehe. <laughs> okay, we're supposed to find the room with the piano. There's yeah. The piano music is important. Ooh. Interesting music variation here. So I do know the right path. This is a very again labyrinth-like area. Yeah. So if you want to go towards where we need to go, you go up, up, down, down. Living armor. Living armor. Let's check them. I heard they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Dungeon Mishy. <laughs> It'd be nice to have some armor of your own. Ooh. I was guarding, too, so he did 52 damage, actually. Yikes. Yeah. Let's just keep guarding with the, with the weaker members of the party. No, Lloyd! Why are they all going for Lloyd? I don't know, they hate him. <laughs> They're bullying him even here. Yeah, keep guarding, you guys. Take half damage, please. The armor dodged! The armor is too strong. Oh, no. We might have to start running from the armor. Unfortunately, the armor has legs and could run after <laughs> <laughs> Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> Lloyd is a stinker. 
feels like it. Um, yeah, so even though you, we're pretty well leveled for this point in the game, but it, this is still tough. Some of these enemies can really mess yeah, you up. Yeah, yikes. Yeah, imagine how much harder this would be if mm -hmm. you hadn't have the certain settings you have. <laughs> That's why it's validating my choice of how to play. Okay, he needs at least one more. Anna's good. We're gonna run out of our herbs here pretty soon, I think. There we go. One more for Lloyd. Should be good. Yeah, this is... I think this is the music from the graveyard, the cemetery at the beginning of the game. Hmm. Speaking of which, that's definitely Anna in the thumbnail, not Pippi. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna hear. It's definitely not edited in any way. <laughs> Long stairs. Nintendo, you're going to die. <laughs> there you go. Huh? What? <laughs> you guys, you guys hearing this? <laughs> I didn't mean to look at the screen. <laughs> So yeah, this gets really complicated. There's some ointments and bread and stuff in here, but We're if you go... out on ointments and bread? If you no, go I'm up, sorry. up, down, down. Oh, jeez. Oh, We're only running into the armor. Uh, we got... Thank um, you, Charchu, yeah. for being an early bird for 11 months. Yeah, they say, oh, this area is kind of spooky. I hope no one says boo. <laughs> this is too cute to get scared and scream of fear. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. <laughs> um, yeah, I almost, because I was doing song titles, I almost called this all that I needed was Boo. Because uh, all that I needed is, was you is a, uh, a song on the Mother album. We'll hear that later. After we get through the ghostbusters -y sounding song. Okay, I think he's good now. Gotta remember, yeah, around where their HP is. All right, down, down, down we go. We are only, there's so many enemies here and we're only seeing the living armor. I wanna see the other guys. Oh, you know, I forgot to use my breadcrumbs. It's got PK Thunder. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yelled, muffled in a suit of armor. <laughs> PK Thunder. It's like Andre the Giant a little bit. Oh, no, okay. Jeez. Nice. Yeah, I brought that bread because I was going to use breadcrumbs. Well, we could use some here at least, right? Better than having no breadcrumbs used. I was going to put two at the door, honestly. Um, yeah. Oh, I got, I got, I got an idea. Use that. And then... Heal a little more. Roski, thank you so much! Extra spooky! Sadly, you can't eat the armor, but you can gargle 50 cans of mouthwash for eternal life. Good tip. Thank you, Roski. Appreciate the super chat. She needs like 80, right? Yep, she's good. And then he's basically good. Okay, so we got breadcrumbs there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh no. Oh no. Um, this probably is uh, worth doing this. No harm in, you know, slipping dimensions to get away from these guys. Bye bye. Okay. Nice. I've got an idea. Got an idea. I want to see the other enemies as well, so. There we go, a ghost. A ghost. a ghost! A ghost! They look goopy! Ghosts! They are silly. Remember these these guys are in the beginning of the game? They look like they're made of jelly jam. They look like delicious grape ghosts. Yeah, there's a bunch of new enemies here, so I want to see them before we leave. That frying pan did not do much to the ghost. They also have more fun music than the living armor. So that's how you know yeah. they're easier and more fun. Okay. Anna is almost level 20. What did she learn? Hopefully some more useful stuff. I want uh, higher levels of PK fire, ideally. Telepathy. She got healing pie. Ooh, Super geez. heal. Paralysis. 
vampire. I skipped through too fast. She did get super heal. Okay, yeah. so if she survives, she can revive people now. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's what that does. And then, yeah, paralysis. But yeah, on top of that, healing pie, I think that heals something good. This is the only game with pie PSI <laughs> effects. I like them. They are good. Let's do... TK Fire, because then we'll hit all of them and hopefully they'll take them all out. Okay, so keep the healer alive. That is key in a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, we didn't even need to do that. She's going to do around what she would have done with her frying pan. But it worked, okay. They're weaklings, too. She got another new PSI. She learns even more than Nintendo. She gets so much stuff. She gets a lot of the best stuff. Nice. Shield off, I think, is what we got. So we can take shields off of enemies. It's powerful. Oh, an alarm ghost! Alarm ghost. Oops, I want to check it. Looks like a Pac-Man ghost. It does. Alarm ghost called for help! A zombie no! joined the battle! Uh -oh. Watch out, it'll call its friends if it's alarmed. <laughs> That's the trick with the alarm ghost. I'm gonna hit it and then Lloyd can check the zombie. I imagine it just like shaking and it like ringing a ghostly bell noise because it's kind ding, of ding, bell shaped. That reminds me of Bloodborne, I'm getting and horrible the flashbacks. Zombies like, the zombies are like, what? I gotta get over there. Yeah. Oh, the zombie's a brain shock. Oh, that's fun. No effect on it. Watch out for its brain shock attacks. <laughs> <laughs> a little late, narrator. There we go. So these are the, remember earlier when we fought the pseudo zombies in episode one? I was like, oh, oh there might be, zombies. there might be legit zombies later. You can tell they're gross and decayed because they have green laughing? skin. Went back to the dust of the earth. Oh, The okay. dust of the manor. Don't eat that dirt. Ninten, you're going to die. Oh. So there's different spots. If we go through the manor more, I think you can hear more different, like, oh, you're a little jerk, aren't you? <laughs> They'll do, yeah. Okay. So this is what I is wanted to do. Is it just the mice messing with you? <laughs> they could be. Alright, so now Anna has breadcrumbs here. And then Lloyd has these. There's my trick. Now we're back where we were, and we can use the other Your ones trick. to get out. G O B A C K. No. <laughs> Go back. The mice are in little hair outfits. The piano! <laughs> we found ointment. I think this place looks keep the enemies even if we do this. I don't want to lose the chance to see more little things. Let's try to run into something else here, because there are more enemies. Including, oh, the alarm ghost. Alarm ghost. There's a new, a completely new enemy here that I don't know if they show up that much otherwise, so I definitely want to show them. Not just the palette swapped alarm ghost. <laughs> the maniac truck of ghosts with that color scheme. Yeah, these are zombie zombies, Alex. Real zombies. Who else is in here? I keep thinking I, will, I should be like checking the fireplaces. <laughs> oh look, the piano has two sprites. It's divided in two. There he is! The bloody zombie! Oh, whoa! <laughs> He's named Shroudly in Shroudly. Be in beginnings, but they took all the blood off of him. Aww. It looks like his uh, his hood is like drenched in blood, and he stayed up way too late. Look at those blood eyes. Blood zombie. Let's see. It looks scary on the outside, but its final attack is even scarier. Uh-oh. Let's, I it's hope they don't. Final attack? Yeah, that has me a little worried to hit Does him. Does it blow up? Does it self-destruct? He's attacking. Get him, Lloyd! Smash him with a boomerang! Oh, okay, got we got him. him. He returned to the dust of the earth. I think he was a zombie, too. He was green. He turned into dust. But yeah, you can see the, the piano is made of two different sprites, at least. Or maybe you can play it. But I want to fight Shroudly. Let's see what happens. Hold on. <gasps> Biobats! Little bats! They're like the little Mr. Baddies, but scarier. I was gonna use the bug spray on them, but I was like, wait a second. These guys aren't. They're not too bad. How about. I'll do a, a weaker PK Thunder. 
They're probably, yeah, there we go. See, they're more fun. The stone spray. No. Oh no, Lloyd turned to stone. <laughs> it needs to be softened. Ah. Uh... <laughs> You're saying. <laughs> well, I now think, we know. I think we have the ability to. Stone spray. <laughs> Like Is they... he still? Oh, look, it's... he's not moving. We're dragging him around. Jed, you have a little bat, like, pulling out a little, like, aerosol can and being like... <laughs> it's like in its his little feet. Yeah. Okay, let me... I'm gonna check the status effects, because I think we can, um, heal stone now. Oh. Healing... Gamma. So, I think... Anna has healing gamma, right? And Nintendo, they both do. He's got more PP. Tried healing gamma. His body became soft again. There we go. We don't need to go to the healer. So yeah, alpha heals poison. Beta is paralyzed. Gamma is stone. Pi is sleep. And then super healing revives a dead ally with full HP. Nice. But it costs 36 PP, so... Wow. Gotta be careful about that. Alright. Because yeah, she has super healing, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, well... Piano. Is everyone doing okay? Let's use up some of the last of our herbs. Make sure we're strong here. Oh! The ma big bag disappeared after it emptied. That's it. No more herbs. What else do we even have? Flea bag! I forgot about that. We should use that on someone. You gotta throw it at someone, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens. I don't want to necessarily use the ointment. Because it he basically fully heals. Let's, uh, let's just use PSI life up. There we go. Oh, that didn't do that much, but he didn't have that much left. Can you run around for a sec? Can I play the piano? Not yet. Ah. We have to make sure we see the enemies real quick. <laughs> so we saw the bionic bat, the alarm ghost, the armor. There are two more enemies. Zombie. There he is. Mean zombie. Yeah, so this is the equivalent of the gang zombie, but he's actually a zombie. He looks delighted. His shirt is green. He is. He's the mean zombie. He shops at the same shoe store as the crow. Everyone's got these of, dapper red shoes. Crows. A violent guy who comes out swinging the first chance he gets. <laughs> he's mean. Wow, he does a lot of damage. Anna actually took him out with that one HP attack. Uh, Anna, you can guard. Let's be careful here. Okay, that means there's only one enemy left that we have not seen in Rosemary the Manor. The enemy is the piano. <laughs> <laughs> well, spoilers. No. <laughs> not actually. Spoilers for something else. If the piano does... Well, that's, that's Mar... If you, uh... I guess I could mention, but if you played Mario 64, you might know where uh, that was influenced from Haosu. That's all I'll say. Oh. That. Yeah. Okay, we're good. I want to see this last enemy, and then we'll leave, folks. I know this is pretty spooky. It's a long time to be scared. Ghosts. 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 I do think the gang zombie looked a little better with his blood, because it contrasted with his shirt in a way that I... I don't know. The mean zombie. Who knows if he was even in a gang? He was just mean. He just died a jerk and came back to life with that bitterness in his heart. He was smiling, though. Was he? Yeah, he was delighting in being mean, I suppose. I thought it was a toothy grin. <laughs> we could probably play this, but I want to make sure, because I don't want to have another gorilla s scenario on our hands where we miss an enemy. Ghosts. We'll, pl we'll go to the, the piano. The ghosts look like they maybe give you the old razzle-dazzle. <laughs> they link hands and start, like... Yeah. They don't have legs to kick. Well, they could, like, make the, their frills, frit, like, flop around. Yeah. <laughs> in, there a, is, in a synchronized way. There's a much bigger set piece with a haunted castle <gasps> in a later game with ghosts that I really enjoy. So, excited to get to that. Some stuff comes up yes. again, but improved. Okay, should we check the piano? Yes! Hit the button. <gasps> Okay. With A. Wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> the keys on the piano <gasps> began to play all by themselves. Oh, Shorter that, melody. We got a part of the melody? Yeah, finally. Nice. It's been, I think we got three in the first stream and this is the first melody we've gotten since. So we have half the melodies, remember? That was actually something we were supposed to be doing. Yeah. 
I want to. We have four. Yeah, four out of eight. Nice. I feel like the, there. the developers put a ton at the beginning and they were like, oh crap, I forgot, we were supposed to be making you collect these. <laughs> Let's put one again, yeah. We are at a uh, part of the game where our kind of goal is to refocus on finding the melodies now that we have our party built out. I really want to see that enemy, even though I have my breadcrumbs. Let's try to go some weird random ways and see what happens. The bread will save us, surely. Wispy! Thank you so much. What's good, gang? It's <laughs> good, gang zombie. This is their third super chat on a live stream. It says, "Thank you. Appreciate the support. Doing well. How are you? Fighting bio bats. Does that mean these are biologically engineered or? Uh oh, Anna. Uh oh. Uh. Um. Or are they uh, just poisonous? Or they have a stone ability. Oh no, Anna, I moved one step and forgot to revive her. Uh oh. She's been petrified. Uh. Nobody hit her, or she might shatter. Um Wait, can that happen? No, it was oh, a joke. Okay. <laughs> I mean that's that would be a real concern if someone was petrified, I think, in real life. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't even guard with her. You'd think she'd have a better guard now that she's made of stone. Look at Lloyd. Dodging with tax. Okay. Don't let me move this time. I was trying to like do something, but I moved one step and ran to another bit of zombies. Yeah. Gamma, right? That was the I right think? one. Luckily, Nintendo also can do that. Okay. Because they're good. Let's go ahead and life up on Anna as well. There we go. What did she? She also learned something new. Healing pie she had, right? Maybe not. Darkness to Darkness. go with paralysis. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alex says uh, they think the bats, the bio bats, are just bats that are really, really skilled in biology. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fun. I yeah, I was assuming they were like some sort of experiment. Biochem bats. Yeah. I was an environmental science bat when I was in school. I want to see that last enemy, but I guess there's a present here. This room is filled with stuff. There it is! The dust, dust ghost! ghost. <laughs> They're cute! Aww. Let's check them out. Achoo! Oh, no. It's trying to play dead. <laughs> Watch out for Nintendo's asthma. Oh no, I hope it doesn't have a... Uh... It just keeps trying to play dead. I've heard these guys might be scary, so... It burst into flames! What? Uh, dust? I guess it's flammable. There we go. They were guarding, oh. but also we have the rain pendants on. For fire damage. It's empty! <laughs> Aww. Uh. Alright, well let's use those breadcrumbs now that we're done. What's in that fireplace? <laughs> Nothing, unfortunately. They don't hide anything in there. Just like the D and D game we played. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did it. Rosemary Manor complete. Ooh, where am I going? I think we go this way. Should have left another trail of breadcrumbs back to Halloween. So I don't think we're gonna have the money to do it, but the one lady gives you hints about some of the stuff around this area, and I will read generally what they say real quick. So we don't have to spend $3,000. <laughs> oh, for the hints? Yeah, because they're $1,000 a pop. That's a lot. I was going to try to do them, but I didn't. I don't think I have enough money. We might now, but we'll spend all of our money on that. Are they, what are the hints for? Some of them we've already completed now what they would help us with. So, okay, um, Do yeah. you want to keep kind of trying to go down while I go over there? So, we can go say no to her, because then we'll get to see the spooky thing, but... The spooky thing? Her first hint is she will reveal the whereabouts of the fourth melody, which is the piano melody. You go left. Uh, her second hint, she will tell you about the individual who will give Ninten the item to make Anna join the party. So if we hadn't gone to Reindeer to get the hat, then she would tell us about that, but chances are, you know, 
And then the third one will tell you about the guitar player in Magic Hand, the mysterious guitar player who actually tells you the location of the eight melodies. So that's the most important oh. hint. But we've talked to him already. He wasn't giving us anything. He was just talking about his guitar. Um, so let's talk. The fireplace has the Dust Ghost family inside. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, but let's say no to her. Like, we don't have enough money. Because I said yes, even though we don't have enough. But let's say no. Oh, you're really confident about yourself. Then I'll make sure we never meet again. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, so that was what I was worried was going to happen. But she was just like, Shoo. we're not going to give her money anyways, so might as well. I feel like there might be some different dialogue now that we've completed the mansion. I can't remember. The manor. Pretty mansion-y. Just got a lot of ghosts around still. Oh, ghosts haven't quite left yet, but you're such a brave boy. In fact, I even renamed my son after you. Renamed? <laughs> my name is Ninten. Okay. It used to be Bug Error Rosemary, though. <laughs> Okay. When I first saw that name, I was like, Bug Error? But it's Bug, bug and Error. Bug Error. Game programming jokes. It's like in Zelda 2 with Bug and Error. So, I, is this Rosemary then? Because he's well, Rosemary's. I think it's like the Rosemary family. Yeah. Oh, is this the. This is the dad then, right? Where he's like, our house is monsters and stuff. Okay. So they did move here. Alright, well, they named our, their little boy after us. They renamed you. <laughs> little Can boy. you imagine? Yeah, I mean, if you like your name and you wanted to keep it, but your parents were like, we're going to rename you when you're already. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. You think they would move? We, we were really impressed with this other child, and we wish you were them. So <laughs> that's your name, now. I guess it is just like naming your kid after somebody strong or heroic to try to give them that same feeling, because that happens in a lot of, you know, names, but it's a little weird when they're like five or whatever. Okay, we did it. I think yeah. that is all we need to do in Halloween. Let's talk to this guy. We're going to go back yeah. to Santa Claus. Aw, just like the, the seasons. <laughs> <laughs> After Halloween comes Santa Claus. All right, so we're done with that. Yeah, there's the map, Danny, if you're curious how <laughs> much we avoided. Pretty big, but I'm glad we got to see the uh, the little dust ghost called the Dust Ball. Um, we need to make sure we have some money before we head up from the station. It's the one thing. Bye, Halloween. See you in the funny pages. Did you get your fix of spooky stuff and fun little enemies? I liked the house a lot, yeah. Good. good. I'm glad. <laughs> Danny was looking forward to it. Yeah, I like ghosts. There were ghosts and ghouls, if you count the zombies. Yeah. So, it's kind of a delineation. They're adjacent to ghouls. Yeah. One of the, the lyrics for the Paradise line that I don't always quite believe, or agree with is half the fun of travel is the journey there <laughs> where I'm like oh, I don't really like, like jamming on a train and there's fun music I in and real life like, the travel like excited about going I need to do a train trip before I fully commit to this but <laughs> I do think that uh, if I have to be the one making the travel move <laughs> the car I don't enjoy it as much I would rather just be at the place you know Hmm. Is my, you know, feelings. Do we have enough money to stay here? I think probably. We're back in Thanksgiving here briefly. Yeah, there was... Actually, I agree. There was a... A sore lack of pumpkins in Halloween. Well, good news, because the subsequent games have much, much more uh, the spooky stuff with actual, like, decorations. Okay. There will be jack-o'-lanterns in Earthbound. <laughs> There's a spooky castle in Mother 3, so... No worries. Again, we have the limitations of the time here. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's get a bunch of money out. Did we? Yep, they got their PP. Anna has slightly more PP now. 
And then I have to remember to use the flea bag. Don't let me forget that. Stronger all the time. We should probably deposit the haunted key, honestly. But we could do that later. I think we'll be okay. All right, let's get some money out. Deposit. Look at all that! Wow. I'm deposit gonna not the haunted key into your stomach. I'm gonna not take too much because I don't want to lose it. But also, if we go to Magic Hand again, remind me to get gear for everybody. Okay. But yeah, I guess I say that, but in an RPG, I do really like the journey there. I do find that fun. Yeah. In real life, sometimes I'm like, I just want to be... It's like when I go to the grocery store. I just want the thing. I don't want the process of walking around the grocery store. Well, that's, that's a little different. Yeah, I guess. Deal. I'm the... I like the results more than the thing sometimes. I want to enjoy the vacation without being tired on the way there. <laughs> All right. Let's head back up to Santa Claus Station. So I they... like new adventures. Oh, double oh. truck. When it, yeah, not fond of those though. Yeah, I don't want to have an asthma attack. Um, that's but yeah, that's some of the the problem of traveling in car. You got to deal with devil trucks swerving around and cutting you off. <laughs> um, yeah. So they mentioned I don't th we can't take the train from Santa Claus Station for some reason. So we're gonna find oh. out. Why Smart that box. is. Yeah, this year is the 35th anniversary of Mother 1, if you didn't know. And the 30th anniversary of Mother 2, Earthbound. So it is a bit older. Oh! We forgot to mention! There's been developments despite the oh, fact that yeah. this game is 35 years old. <laughs> it... <laughs> it came out recently, so I... For a long time it was believed that the models that we showed, which I can show again... Let's do that. Where are they? Come here. Come out. There he is. I don't think we showed Anna once we got her. But these were uh, believed to be clay models. Uh-oh. Bridge is out. Um, they were believed to be clay models, but then it was translated from Encyclopedia Mother that they were paper mache. But that is also wrong, and I had a feeling <laughs> that that might have been, but I went with, you know... You gotta trust but verify stuff. But they are actually paper clay, a fiber clay. It's somewhere between the two things. And it's a clay with like fiber paper in it to help it uh, shape, I guess. You probably know better what it does. Had you ever heard of it before we? Um, I haven't worked with it actually. Okay. So. Bye, Anna. <laughs> so yeah, that, that just came out. That was retranslated by Kanisu who translated the mother uh, Encyclopedia Mother. I think because it was brought up, it was brought up on some podcast, and Camille Young, who is one of the older uh, Earthbound Starmen, you know, alumni of that group, who did a bunch of clay or Sculpey models themselves, was like, I don't know if those are paper mache, so they looked into it again, and we learned paper clay, paper maclay. Yeah. Paper maclay. <laughs> that was a visual that <laughs> He, he tipped a hat at me. I tipped an invisible hat. All right, let's keep going up here. We gotta find a way around the broken bridge. Unfortunately, the Paradise Line stops here, or else it would fall into a ravine. We don't want that. Half the fun of travel is falling <laughs> into a ravine. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I think I'm going the right way, but we'll find out soon. <laughs> Eagles won't leave you alone. I know, they're swarming me. They're like crows or pigeons, is the feeling. Um, but yeah, this map, it, weirdly, this game, despite being very early in the series, you know, at the beginning of the series, has a huge world map, so it can get a little confusing. feel like I'm going the right way. Uh-oh. Well, this seems right, because we're getting new enemies. Omega saucers. Kind of look like pizza pies. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see if we can... We don't want to get any PSI, because we don't need it. We could do fire, right? Hit both of them. Yeah, toast those pizzas up. Oh, nope, they're not that strong. The attack! Oh no, he's going to check the wrong one now. Let's have Nintendo check it. And have them hit it. Check the Omega Saucer. It's about as big as a manhole cover. A little more menacing than the little saucer. 
Wow, look at us. We're almost like everyone leveled up enough to be strong enough to take on a dragon, maybe. A dragon! A dragon. I forgot about the dragon. I don't know if we'll get to that this stream. Um, Anna could probably use a heal. Let's do that. I'm gonna focus Nintendo's stuff, uh, PP on healing, and Anna's on attacking. There we go. Okay. <gasps> Music change! Can you guess where we are? The Wild West? Yeah! So this music's actually in Earthbound. This is the Yuka Desert, Desert in Earthbound Beginnings, but the Advent Desert in this game. I think because huh. of the Advent Calendar energy of the towns. Interesting. Oh, look! A little scorpion? It's a bug! It bit Lloyd! Oh, no, not Lloyd. <laughs> spray it, Lloyd, with the super spray, quick! Instantly killed, became tame. So that's the benefit of the super spray. It does actually instantly take out any bug enemies. We've been holding on to it since Duncan's factory. Um, Jed Owl says you could you should totally throw the flea bag at the dragon. Oh, okay. You're one gutsy kid talking to dead bodies. <laughs> Is that it's the bones. It's bones. Remember the guy said, if you see those bones, I used to know that when they were alive. Oh. A lot of nods to things that pop up in the future. Bible goes west. Advent desert. Why not take a sightseeing flight? Speaking of travel. <gasps> hey. Whoa. What? I'll take this. Is that a car? It's a tank. Oops. For once, I accidentally didn't talk. I I laid landmines in this desert during the war before last. I thought I dug them all up, but I just can't uh -oh. seem to find the last one. Best be careful out there. <laughs> uh oh. Let's see how much room I have. Oh, do you want to ride in my plane? Sure. Which course would you like? We got three courses here. Uh, Let's do the first one. Okay. It'll cost you fifteen for the lot of us. Be sure to hang on to your ticket stubs. Collect ten of them and you'll earn a ride in my tank. Is this Sid? Ha ha ha, you sure seem happy to hear that. I guess that's what I'm going for a little bit. Here we go. Another new song. I think this song is uh, in Earthbound as well. Traveling. He circled around a spot of the desert there. I'm gonna get to see some of this giant world map. Whoa. Yeah, look at this. So much water that we can't even really get to outside of this plane. What does it all mean? This is America, baby! <laughs> oh, Whoa. what's that? Some sort of ruins? Whoa. Big stumps? Looks like stumps. Nausicaa. Petrified trees. There we go. We got one ticket Where do we stub. Go? We might need to make room for ticket stubs. Because we need ten. You need ten? Yeah. For what? If we get ten, we can take a ride in his tank. Oh, I forgot. I think I'm gonna use the mouthwashes or the breads. So let's just eat the bread. Or we could, hmm, I'll just eat it. <laughs> okay, so that's one. Just gonna try to clear some room here. Where's that other bread? Didn't we have more than one? Nope. Everyone, hmm. gargle. Nothing well, happened. The haunted key? Oh, I should have left that back when I was gonna drop it off. Yeah. I forgot. Well, that's okay. We know where we can get good mouthwash if we need it. And then I'll use the flea bag on somebody. I think we can make room. Let's try to fight something. And then we'll come back. Take some more plane rides. We'll space them out. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's weird, right? What? Look like that cactus is smiling at you. <laughs> I would have never noticed that. <laughs> he flew around it. The cactus sang. <gasps> it's singing. For some reason, it sang. Oh, good. It continued to sing. With emotion. It has a falsetto voice. Now we have five. We learned the melody. Oh, it's cute. Something is speaking to Nintendo's mind, so if you check it, it kind of gives you a hint that you should uh, have the cactus 
do something. I'm intense hogging all the mouthwash. But I don't think we can drop this. Shouldn't throw away the haunted key. Yeah. Shouldn't throw away the haunted key. It'll cur curse you. How many spots do we have now? We're getting pretty close to enough, right? She's gonna have three. He's got two, two, and three. So that's seven and three. Oh, that's perfect, right? Sure. Okay, and I haven't even used the flea bag yet. Sorry, oh, old so sage minty. man. So minty fresh. The mouthwash didn't taste like spearmint. It tasted like sage. Because he bottled it. Ooh, that sounded grosser than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He makes it his own. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> they can't all be winners, folks. <laughs> it's oh, just getting worse. <laughs> I think there is a uh, there's a peace sign somewhere and an infinity sign in the trees and the grass up here. Love and peace? Yeah. Oh no, more pizzas. A, a death bar bot! Uh-oh. Let's throw fleas at him. Oh, someone said we should use those on the dragon. Maybe, well, I, I don't need the ticket spots, do I? We can save it. Let's just hit him. And then... Get him. Get him. Get him. Use a PSI attack on him. Oh, we got freeze gamma now. Let's see how much that does. The Death Barbot is pretty strong. I gotta be careful, he might have PK Beam. No, he just hit me. Freeze Gamma! Fell into a critical state. Whoa. That one was just destroyed. Was that the one with the critical state? I thought I hit B with it. All right. Nice. It's strong enough to just like one hit kill stuff, I guess. I have to remember what all these do. A lot of the later games, the PSI attacks just become stronger and stronger. They don't have, like, particular effects per attack. Like how Beam is a one-hit kill in this Gamma. Okay. Well, if we're not gonna throw the flea bag away, let's take another plane ride. Ooh, I'm getting stuck on all these little things. Where are you, buddy? It's fun music. Yeah, oh, he was somewhere. There's the train tracks. He was somewhere down here with the grass, right? Uh-oh. Oh, here's the bones. There's the bones. Okay, he's right from That's, the bones. Yeah. Remember that. I didn't think these would get this you stuck. This just how you get around in a desert. Navigate by the death. <laughs> Not many landmarks, but cacti and death. You want to ride my plane? Let's try course B. This is why we need a bunch of money to make sure we had this for the plane tickets. Get our stubs. Here we go. This is a different course. Enjoy. Where's that tank gonna go? Yeah, we're saving up for the tank. We're collecting box stubs. Whoa. Oh, we also, yeah, Alex, that's a good point that, uh... Going? This is luxury <gasps> dirt in the desert. Nintendo should be eating this up. <gasps> that was Pippi's house. Hi, Mom! Where's Mick? He ran away looking for us. We're going up to the zoo. We flew... We were actually not that far from Mother's Day, all things considered. There's Duncan's factory. All these landmarks, we've been so far. <laughs> You've come so far, Ninten. Okay. I think he's gonna land here soon, too. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good travel spot. I like the music, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I got one, two, three, three spots. Four spots, okay, we have plenty. And we have one extra. All right, last time here. Poor C, the most expensive and luxurious. This one comes with a little biscotti. <laughs> Stroop waffle. You sure seem happy to hear that. Oh, we've earned a tank ride. I missed yeah. it. I'm sure to hold on to ticket stubs, collect 10 of them. Okay. Here we go. Go in the tank. One last time. I'm trying to remember when this plays in Earthbound, this song. If it's the Skyrunner or one of those I times. See now. We saw this already. No. <laughs> no, we're going a different way. We're going farther east. We're gonna. We've seen what was around us, what was behind us. Now it's time to see what lies in our future. Look! Whoa! What Where is was this? That? that was a big tower. There's a path. Path. 
Some roads. Let us see. <laughs> they barely showed us whatever that was. It was some other town that we haven't been to yet. Oh, what's oh. that place? Looks like another train station. If the bridge was working, maybe we could get there. Look at that. This guy's an expert pilot. He can fly diagonally, but he's <laughs> facing up. Oh, yeah, there's like ruins and stuff. I keep forgetting. Here we go. All right. Tank. You want to ride? Nope. It is rather pricey, so I can't say I blame you. The tank! How do we do it? We have the ticket stubs. Oops, let's use a stub on him and see what happens. Looks like you still don't have enough. Hey, what? Oh, we need one more. Because uh, we have to take another ride. What a, what a trick. Let's take the short, oh. quick one. He makes sure that we... Uh, oh, yeah, because... Three times three. Oh my, it looks uh, like you can't hold any more items. Oh no, he won't even let us go if we can't hold all three stubs. All right, so flea bag. What else can we get rid of? We need to get rid of one more thing. Um, I guess just use a PSI stone. Is it reusable? She gripped the PSI stone. Her PP was covered by 17. Oh, it still has more uses. So never mind about that. Uh, flea bag, and I can just use an ointment. Point. There you go. It's pretty... <laughs> he got zero. The desert sun is harsh, so Lloyd, put some ointment on. Alright, we'll do the last one. Yeah, he... This is a trick. This is a scam. He makes sure you have to take four rides trick. just to get ten tickets. Can't hold any more items. What? I thought I had enough room. One, two. Oh, we need one more. The flea bag. Uh. Sorry. Ashley says toss some extra tickets, since you're getting Oh, get you're right! Ah, oh, you're smart! <laughs> Ticket Thank stub. You. Collect ten tickets. <laughs> for riding the tank. That would have been smarter. Oh well, okay. At least I didn't use the flea bag. Almost did. Okay, one last time. Here we go. I think this is the shortest of the rides, right? <laughs> Time to jam to this music again. We're gonna get an even cooler song here soon. A lot of the travel songs are really good energy. Yeah. Oh, see if you can spot the the infinity sign is up here somewhere. Hmm. It's just made out of trees, I think. But there is like a peace sign in the south, uh, southwest, uh, east. Sorry. Um, one last swoop around past the ruins. Ruins. There is something else in the one area, but I think we can still go there after. Forest. There we go. Oh, do you want it? Nope. Give me the tank. I earned it. I collected the box stamps. Oh, you collected 10 ticket stubs. All right, then. I'll lend you my tank. Haha, <laughs> you sure seem happy to hear that. Can we just walk into it? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Here we go again! It can't go on grass. Whoa. I am controlling it. This music reminds me of the Ninja Turtles games, the Konami. <laughs> it has a very, like, Konami sound Tank. to it. This part coming up really sounds like a Konami sound chip thing here. <gasps> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> got, it's got that really... Nasty beat of a Konami Ninja Turtles game. Ruin the ruins! Destroy <laughs> the artifacts! Get in there. Oh! Uh oh. R7037 suddenly attacked! Tank! Tank! Hit it! Tank, 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 tank! Can you use the tank? To it reflected fight? the attack back! We fired the tank cannon! Yeah! Everyone's yeah! firing! Let's all take tank! turns! Gather around, kids, and fire the tank. Our America! <laughs> its attack flew back. <laughs> this robot can't exactly handle this America tank. Is like. This is ingenuity from Eagle Land. Suck on this, robo. There we go. Yeah, this I like the perspective on this robot. It really feels like we're down at the ground and looking up at it. Uh, if you remember the Mother 3 ad we played at the beginning of the first stream, that's kind of what that robot looked like. 
The tank was scrapped. Oh no. We broke his tank. Oh no! <laughs> no! Now we have plenty of room, thanks to getting rid of those. I wish I had some, uh... Still before we go in there... Stub. Before we go in there, we used our stubs, at least. I want to go slightly over to the side. An energy robo suddenly attacked. Let's see. Let's try to death beam him. I want to make sure we are... Not going too easy on these guys. Let's PSI block the energy robo. This enemy shows up, I think, in all three games, the energy robo. Oh. One of the few enemies with that distinction. No effect on it, though. Eat a death beam. It exploded! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anna? Uh-oh. Okay, she's alright. <laughs> was a little worried there, but uh -oh. luckily that was fire damage. Or else it would have been doubled. I feel like once Anna is level 25, we are definitely ready for a challenge lying ahead. Let's go ahead and heal everyone a little bit. With our designated healing boy. <laughs> he played on the baseball team. He knows how to, like, get the bandages, get the orange slices for everybody, have a little Debbie, yeah. get your energy back. <laughs> I think everyone's... Have a cosmic brownie. Cosmic... That would be perfect for this with all the space themes. Okay, I wish I had bread to put back to the ruins, but I think we go somewhere around here. Oh, there's more bones. Bones. Scorpion. White bones on a sand. <laughs> you know what we do with scorpions. You step on it? No. We get bit. No. They're biting. Why aren't they using their stinger? We use the super spray. <laughs> oh, it got both of them at once. I thought it was going to only hit one. What do you say? Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me talk to these bones real quick. See if they have some directions for us. Cosmic Bryant does sound pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop by the hot dog wagon as Nintendo would after. Oh. <laughs> I make a useful signpost, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Oh, a bio scorpion. Bio. This is some Christmas theming it looking here. It might pull out a spray and make you stone. No. You think? Because it's bio. Oh, that would make sense with the with our other experience it's with the bio spray bag. You, back. <laughs> you keep spraying them and it pulls out a, <laughs> one of its own. The spray is like a it's beam like, battle in Dragon yeah. Ball. Let's see if it hits everything. Nice! That's so super good. Super spray. The super spray is one of the only reusable items that doesn't break. Hmm. Luckily. Okay, we are looking for... Somewhere around here. Don't know if I can find the exact spot. But there is somewhere here. There's a secret. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna give you the controller. Secret. Just use Lloyd's bug spray on it. It's in um, his goods. How do I do that? It's in his goods. Well, this is Nintendo. So we'll just hit him. Hit that guy. Wait. Lloyd, good. There are a couple other enemies Super in this spray? area we haven't seen. Super spray, yeah. Fight. <gasps> Stinger! Okay, so we want to find grass and that. Okay. There's a secret over here. How are we doing? Uh, it did use its stinger, but uh -oh. it had no effect. Okay, we're still pretty good. Somewhere around here where there's grass and weeds, there is a secret. Secret. It's a little tough to find the exact spot. Bash this bar bot if you would. Just... Yeah, you can just hit him. Okay. Right. Yeah. He, should he, he be using any? Should Lloyd be using items? No, just hit him. I think Nintendo will take him out in one. Just smack. Yeah, smack him. Smack. They're not too tough, and then they kill us. Oh, they did hit pretty hard. Lloyd is getting a lot of smash, smash. attacks in this. He did more than He's Nintendo. He's punching. He's getting stronger. He's using his boomerang. <laughs> okay, I found where we're going. Nintendo needs to heal. He's been healing everybody else. 
I feel, yeah, it should be both, Alex, where it pulls out the little spray bottle and it, hold, like, steadies it with its claws, and then it pushes down the spray with its stinger. <laughs> what did he say about how they spray it? <laughs> They're just asking, um, if it holds the spray bottle with its tail or its little claws. We got attacked oh. by Jane, just so you know. By Jane? Jane attacks! <laughs> Jane. Lloyd checked Jane. <laughs> okay. Don't be fooled by her smile. Her Lloyd smile? checked Jane. Oh, like Tarzan. Uh, can you see a smile? You got a like armor. Maybe in the paper McClay model. Oh. I think I went too north. Jane. Should be right around here. Whoa! <laughs> oh, you found. Okay. Certificate. This hereby certifies that Danny and Adam <laughs> have stepped on the landmine in the Advent Desert. Please keep this location a secret from other players. Oh no! Oh. Shikasato Itoi. Don't look. Nobody look. Everyone forget. Don't. I was gonna. I was gonna do a comedy fade to black. Don't worry about okay. that. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, there's a secret mine up here. Someone mentioned it, right? They were like, um, careful about- the, the guy oh, with the plane. Yeah, the pilot was like, was I forgot like... to get all my mines. Oops, hope I don't kill any children. Um, and then the last thing with the desert, there are a couple other enemies I think would be good to- Was actually... there anything else in the ruins? Oh yeah, we're gonna go back to the ruins. That's kind of the last thing to do. Okay. But before we leave, I want to make sure- Here we go. So we got one. Yeah. Jane is actually called Nancy in beginnings. Why do you change that? I don't know. <laughs> Especially if it's that close to, you know, yeah. it's already an English thing anyways. It is a little weird. Yeah, there's at least one new enemy I want to see here. But we might see it on the way back to the ruins. Alright, doing pretty well, you know, and every every step of the way we're getting stronger. How we doing? Just want to make sure no one is hurting too much. Anna's over 100 HP now though, that's good. She can't get blasted by bar bots as easily. Okay, yeah, this is why I kind of went bread, because I was like, oh, we could use that to go back to the ruins, but they should be right over here somewhere. There they are. Yeah, I would love to see one more enemy that is very unique. Not Jane. It's just Jane. Get out of here, Jane. She's just standing. She's pretty strong. She stands. Uh oh. Whoa! She fell into critical. Oh, so it hits. It gets them right down to almost death. Is what happens when they get crit. No effect. You can't sticky Jane. Uh, can we use this on... She's too shiny. Go. I guess so. We should PSI block her, honestly. Or let me see if I can magnet off of her. Jane smiled boldly. Oh, no, her defense went smiling. up by 163. Leech those PP. 10 PP stolen. There we go. Ointment healed 99. Smack him. We could, if it gets really bad, I could try PSI block on her. We might have her here. Oh, wow. Her defense, no. Stop smiling. Her defense is insane. We're not going to be able to actually hit her. She's taking one damage. Um, The flea bag. No. <laughs> Let me see. I could try a hypnosis. Oh, defense down. Let's try that on her. And then Anna can try, uh, hit her with a PSI. See if we can get her down to critical. Defense down! No effect! Oh no! Stop it, Jane! She's already maxed out! She's, she gained she zero. She keeps smiling! Oh, she's in critical. So I think if we hit her a couple more times. That's really strong, but it probably uses a ton of PSI. Freeze gamma. There we go. 
She's, that's a lot of defense, Ashley. <laughs> that was not who I wanted to see. Get out of here, Jane. AKA Nancy, if that is your real name. She kind of looks like the Metropolis robot android. Mm. Probably on purpose with all the sci-fi and 50s, you know, older movie references. I know Metropolis is older than that, but... Just want to get a few more chances to find this weird creature, because I want to see it. Mysterious hole in the ruins. Now, we are going to go down there if we can find this thing. There's nothing here! We are almost out of the desert, so enjoy the weird, fun, jaunty music. Oh, rattlesnake, that's new. Rattlesnake! Let's check it first. It's sand colored. Yeah. Happen to have any antidotes handy? It edged closer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fancy getting poisoned out in the desert? <laughs> it's pretty tough. It's rattling. There we go, okay. So I think there's only two enemies we haven't seen. I was kind of okay with not seeing the rattlesnake because it's mostly, it's a tougher, more recolored, you know, different snake. I'm crossing my fingers for the one, there it is! <gasps> Gabalan! What? It's Gabalan, if that is how you say it. Let's check him. Creatures like this shouldn't exist on Earth, but it's some sort of alien thing. Whoa. It has a snoot. It does have a snoot. I like it. Aww. Let's try to make it. <laughs> That's what it. It has a Muppet energy, yeah. Would it make that noise? Maybe. Oh, she has a better life up. Life up pie. My favorite book about a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bye, Gabalon. So, the only other thing here. You can find it. There is a tarantula, sort of a spidery, and you can find starmen here as well. Uh oh. The ultra barbot, or the the barbot we were fighting here, can drop the plasma beam or the death beam, if we're lucky. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna move on. The tarantula is just kind of a red spider, and I think we've seen spiders before. A cheeky monkey. Yeah, welcome to the monkey cave. Be careful! A lot of the monkeys here like to lie. Let me pull up the monkey cave. But was that a lie? Also called the monkey grotto. Uh, I think we go either the way. A grotto? A grotto. We're getting close to the end of the stream here, folks. This is silly monkey music if I ever heard it. I don't think there's enemies here, actually, so we can kind of explore. I want to make sure there's no other monkeys. There's one. It seems peaceful in here, but it's also way too dark. Any other creepy monkeys? Cheeky monkeys, I mean. Just doing a loop. Do you want to be the next monkey? Um. <laughs> Do you have what it takes to be the next monkey <laughs> of the grotto? Oh, Jabberwocky. Yeah, Jet Owl. That's a good point. It kind of had a little bit of a weird uh, Lewis Carroll energy to it. The Gabalan. <laughs> oh, good timing. <laughs> oh, later, you know. <laughs> Walk up to a lady so casually and start talking. Oh, Kiki. Don't you agree? Actually, I'm a man. Oh, you have a sweet <laughs> voice. <laughs> Good monkey noise. Tee <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of monkeys living in this desert grotto. They're tricksy. They are pretty tricksy, aren't they? I think you'll meet a new friend in a city with an ocean view. Hmm. Are they lying? That seems like that could be true. Didn't we see a city near the ocean? And we do have a new friend that we have not met that we named very oh, early yeah. on. Beginning of the game. I got some good information for you. Are you interested? <laughs> well, basically, treasure your friends. That's all I have to say. Aww. That's not a lie. I feel like the maybe the only monkey that lied was the initial monkey telling us that monkeys lie. Fine, then. You have no intellectual curiosity at all. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You gotta say no first, so you don't leave on a bad foot. America's Next Top Monkey. Did they all escape from the zoo? Because America shouldn't have monkeys. This is a very Japanese, like, the macaques sort of thing. Snow monkeys. Straight! Just walk straight! The truth is somewhere straight ahead. Let me double check the map here so I don't get confused. 
It's a little maze-like, but luckily, again, there's no enemies. Oh, he he did lie to us. We're not supposed to walk straight. Just to go this way. We got plenty of room now after that ticket stub kerfuffle. PSI stone. Another one. Yeah. Those are useful. I don't know how long they last before they break, but I should be using them more. I've only used one once this whole time. Yeah, especially now that you have two. I think this song is also in, in Earthbound. Another beat. Well, now we have three, because I think I already had one. Oh, boy. Nintendo's got two on himself. Got a, got a pocket of rocks. Pocket full of rocks and a belly full of dirt. <laughs> Nintendo's biography. Just want to hit up all the monkeys. You want to be another monkey? Sure. How long has it taken you to get this far? Four streams. Oh, I just thought I'd ask. <laughs> Aw, sweet little caring monkey. Yeah, this isn't too maze-like. <laughs> My favorite monkey has to be Sun Wukong. Yeah. Come here, the king of monkeys. Turn back! Or if you don't feel like turning back, then just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> The monkey grotto in Earthbound, wow, is uh, a little Wiggle. more... This is nice and straightforward. I'm not a huge fan of the monkey cave in Earthbound. You managed to catch me. You're really something. Here's something nice for you. A speed capsule. I'm gonna give that, that to Anna. Nice. Because this will make you move faster in battle. And I think if she moved faster, she could heal us. She could bring us back to life. She could guard. I think that's a good use of that. Well, she could use a heal, speaking of things she could use. There we go. We are getting pretty close to getting out of here already. If you can believe it. And another PSI stone. I think that's <laughs> the last one. Alright. The silly clown music is almost over, folks. Turn around and then left to find something nice. Hmm. Oh, a monkey. I don't trust any of the monkeys here. All they ever do is lie. Go right, left, left, and then right. Oh, that's the way through... I'm pretty sure that's the way through Magic Hand. Right, left, left, right. You know? Hmm. Did we talk to this guy? Might have gotten turned around a little. Hubba hubba, heaven must be missing an angel! <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we're not going the wrong way. Oh, what is that? Don't assume that all monkeys are liars. Oh, it's a penguin. Penguin. Boy, did I mess up. I must have made a serious mistake to wind up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the boss monkey. It annoys me how the others lie all the time. Go straight ahead and you'll find the exit to your right. This melody. Oh, it's a fake melody monkey, not like the one at the zoo. You should quit playing. No! Oh, oh, well then. Please don't kick us out. Are you really sure about that? So many monkeys in this grotto. It's not a penguin grotto. I'm a shy monkey. Talking isn't really my thing. Okay. There's one more over here. Past the penguin. Do I look like a monkey? Darn. You have really good eyes, you know that? Uh, are they not a monkey? Are they an ape? <gasps> <laughs> I'm actually a tanuki, also known as a raccoon dog. I think they spelled raccoon wrong. I'm in disguise. It's a tanuki! I love this game even more! <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> animal. Okay, so we gotta go back this way. That is everything in the monkey grotto. We were tricked to go hang out with the main monkeys, but this is the way we want to go. You want to be them? Stop! You must not go this way. Tom Nook. It's Tom Nookie. Tom Nookie. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, Tom Nookie. It's a good monkey sound. Huh. Familiar? 
It's the what? Cave of the Tail music. What's that? We heard a voice. Where is the god's tail? We know the answer. We're back! Oh. Yeah. Strange. Full circle. Mm-hmm. Oh, we could drop off the key now. One last thing I want to do before we leave. Not just get rid of the haunted key that's been stuck in Lloyd's inventory for this, half this episode. Anything else we should drop off before I forget? I think we're pretty good. Oh, we still have a ticket stub somehow. I thought he took all the stubs. Huh. Weird. I guess that's the memento. I think that's good. We'll save the flea bag. All right. And then we're gonna eat some dirt. Rest up. How much money do we have? It's this place, right? Oh, wait. Green? I don't. Uh, we've been here, gone so long. I forget where we actually stay. Yeah. It was one of these houses. This one? Oh no. I've forgotten. They're flashing! There was <laughs> definitely one with the kid that would heal us, but I feel like there was a hotel. Oh, here we go. It's up here. I was in the wrong row. There we go. Everybody have some dirt. Hopefully Anna likes dirt, because I don't think she's had any yet. <laughs> I always forget you can skip that. You can just speed up with running. We're gonna run over here. Poor flying men, I will leave them alone. Um, could you go to the left towards the fountain? And just bash any eyeballs you see? I wanna read something. I forgot to read an excerpt from Encyclopedia Mother about the flying man. The flying man's house, the dream of flying man lives in your heart. A house sticks out lone and random on the outskirts of North Magicant. Here lo live five brothers, both bird-like and human-like. The Flying Men. When you were still little... Hmm? So to go left. Up. Up and left, yeah. Towards the fountain. It's kind of diagonal. When you were still little, your mother used to sit by your bedside and softly tell you the story of the Flying Men. You probably don't remember this sad tale, but it was invented by your great-grandmother. You should pay them a visit. You should have a talk with them, because you might just remember the story. So interesting, great-grandma came up with the flying men. It's somewhere around here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Sky Kuma might be here. Not if we knock him out first, we're too strong. I don't even fear the Sky Teddies anymore. Oh, Ninten actually learned a new PSI. What did he get? Oops. There we go. Healing pie. Got so much stuff. Hard to keep track. Might be life up gamma. Okay, nice. it's somewhere along here. Might be left and up. No, I think we go this way first. I went you went across the fake bridge. Oh. Yeah, I've done that a bunch of times. We're gonna heal. I will use my heart to call the helpful old man one more time here. Let's get some money out. How much did we get after all that? We've been fighting stuff. Look at that! Yeah! Nice. Alright, I'm taking almost all of it out. We're gearing up, because this might be the last time we go to Magicant. One of the final times here. A little oh. bittersweet, you know? Okay, so Anna and Ninten both have the magic coin already. Lloyd needs a magic coin. We'll start with that. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Couldn't walk slightly over to where we were. For your customers. Yeah, get the magic coin. Alright. So that's all good. And then we just need rings for people. Give that to Lloyd. Catch up with the chat while I'm doing this. Uh, so sad for the flying man. Yeah, we left two of them, so they're not lonely. The two that survived of the five, right? Angel bracelet, no bracelet, no bracelet. So we need... <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Dad's telling us it's almost time for the end of the stream. Dad, come on, I'm in the middle of a shop. 
Nintendo, it's your dad. I realize this is an A in my business. Why don't you take a little break? I see. Well, I guess the Earth is in danger and all. Good luck. Okay, so we need three goddess bracelets. We should be able to afford that. They are expensive, but... There we go. And then everyone is all kitted out. Should be good. Yeah, unfortunately the third flying man came with us to the overworld, Roski. We brought him to America and he died. I wanted to turn him into a canary, but messed up the trick a little bit. There we go. I don't know if we can sell stuff here. Does anyone remember if you can sell things in Magic Camp? That is important. Uh, give that. Commerce is a little weird here with these guys. Yeah. There we go. Okay. If we can't, I'll just throw them at Minnie from across the clouds. Which is this house here. Mysterious Goods Keeper. See, this is her equivalent, so I, I do wonder, does everyone have a Magicant Dream Fantasy mm. World person? Where's Carol? Where's Mom? Is she in here somewhere? Could be. Could be. And one more coin. Oh, nope, she didn't have anything. That's it. Okay, we're good to go. Just want to save. And we'll finish up with something cool. Something cool? Something cool. We're going to have a repeat of stream one in a way. I'm going to keep my money just in, you know. It's a risk, but I'm going to keep $3,000 in my pocket. Oh. That is a risk. It is a risk, but I'm confident that we're pretty strong at this point. I don't think we're going to get... Hit by any trucks, hopefully. Okay. They can't get up in the clouds, I don't think. I wish they had done a little... Hopefully not. I wish we they had done a little tanuki sprite. That would have been cute. Alas. It yeah. was just a monkey. They, were, they didn't want to blow their disguise. Okay. We're going to the dragon? Yeah. Remember the monkey said right, left, left, right. And also, while we're here, don't let me forget, let's grab that sword. Might need it soon. Oh. Papa Woosh, come on, buddy. Your Papa old hat. Woosh. Get out of here, Papa Smash. Woosh. Okay, so... I'm wor is the flea bag gonna make this too easy? That's my worry. There's a glitch with the, fr the flea bag that I'll talk about later that you can't do anymore, but it was in the original version. Did you find the sword? No, we'll get it after. Uh, or maybe we should grab it first, so I don't forget. Because we're about to do something crazy. Fight a whole family of Wooshies. Let's see if we can take them down. See how much stronger we are. I know Nintendo can one-shot everything, but... Also, now we get to see just how little damage... Eh, 13 still pretty decent, but... Because I think we have all the best defensive stuff in the game now. Goddess bracelets and magical coins, reflecting all the attacks. Okay, the sword is just up here. Past where the fish was. There we go. Basic sword. Just called the basic sword in this instead of a sword. Probably only a select few can master using this. Really only one guy in this world. Ah, one last <laughs> Mirako. Because, yeah, even if we go back to Magicant, I don't think we're going to come back through this cave again. So, say goodbye to Mirako, that creepy little baby. Roski says the Woosh family is protecting the family dragon. Oh. Okay, I thought it said she took 13 damage. But now she only has wait. one. Huh, weird. Anyways, all right. going to sleep. Sleeping. What about if we speak with our heart? <gasps> Nintendo tried telepathy. Nothing happened. Hmm. We check it. The dragon sensed Nintendo's presence and awoke. No one weaker than me can have this sheet music. <gasps> A 
another solid? There he is! <laughs> <laughs> He's great! Alright, let me try... Let me set up a PSI shield. And then... And try to make him sticky, maybe? Oh, we should just check with Lloyd. And then, how about... I could try PSI him. block. He's great. PSI shield! We're enveloped by a shield, all of us. Dragon let out a strange howl. Lloyd's defense went down by 41. Uh-oh. Can we block its PSI? Their powers were blocked. Whoa, look at that. Strong against all this stuff. It appears to be holding a very important secret. <gasps> secret! Let's hit it with a death beam, because that's neutral. It's a PK beam damage. It's strong against all these other types, so I'm wondering if we should just PK beam it. It has a crazy offense and defense, though. They tried PK Fire, but the PSI was blocked! <laughs> PK Fire Beta. Hit him with the Death Beam! We're just shooting him with beams, like that one image. Beam! That we showed last time. Beam! Beam! Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna need the flea bag, honestly. He let out a strange howl! Anna's defense went down! Oh no. Use the flea bag! We could, I guess. <laughs> It just doesn't feel like we're gonna need it. Is there any choice that you feel is in your heart? I call out with my heart. Have some fleas! <laughs> Here we go. No effect on dragon. Oh. Thanks, Jet Owl! No. <laughs> no! So it actually, like, really... I think it lowers their offense a crazy amount. Because there is a glitch later that you used to be able to do. The Death Beam! No! It broke! No! Um, that's his strongest attack. But if it works on certain enemies, you can make it where they can't even hit you. Uh, right now we're doing okay, though, because he can't actually do much in the way of PSI, thanks to Anna's block. So, I think we're alright. <laughs> Janelle just said, oops! <laughs> it's okay, I didn't really care that much about the flea bag. We could go back and give that kid a bunch of... Like, we get more orange juice and get more of them, I believe. Oh. And the stray dogs actually uh, drop them as well. We just haven't gotten one yet. So, no worries. Dragon's hitting us. Wow! 90 damage! Mm. I gotta keep look I didn't know he did that much. It's our defense was dropped. Dragon Ooh. tame. We did it! We had a little scare, scare there with Lloyd almost dying, but... Oof, that was, yeah, I can imagine that being extremely tough without blocking the PSI and being lower leveled. But we did it. With no hesitation at all, the dragon showed its old sheet music. The song went like this. I like that part of the eight yeah. melodies a lot. Nintendo learned the melody. You okay, buddy? They're in a very deep sleep now. Punk shoe. Aww. We beat them up, and now they just gotta take a snooze. Oh, I forgot I have a... They both have some powerful life up. Let's do life up Gamma. 90, that's how much he took, basically. Uh, we're all pretty good otherwise. I think Lloyd's the only one who really got hit. Everyone was just being howled at. Yeah, that... Oh, hi, buddy. Bonus. One last bonus, Wooshy. Uh, but yeah, without them being able to use PSI with that block move, they just keep wasting turns trying to do it, so... Good strat to use on a dragon. If it's psychic. If it has just a normal fire breath, then that probably isn't gonna work for you. Mm. Bonus Wooshy, chill out! <laughs> just say hi and go! He's mad about the dragon. Our family has guarded the dragon, yeah. That's Uncle Bonus Wushi, who's not actually like blood. He's like uh, <laughs> Papa Wushi's brother on his whatever side. Another one. All right, we are getting out of here though to end the stream. So yeah, we went three melodies first stream, no melodies, no melodies, and then three melodies in the fourth stream. They're a little back lo front loaded and back loaded. Super heal. Power shield, so that's against attacks, I believe. 
kind of how PSI shield is against PSI. Only two more melodies. Only go. two melodies left. We still have a bit of the game though. Oh, this looks odd. Strange cave. Where will you come out? <gasps> the desert music. We're in a train track land. Which way do we follow the tracks? I don't actually know. Do you have a suggest? Which way, north or south? <laughs> do you think we should go? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the train. No. I was gonna see what chat said, but. Hey, chat won't <laughs> always be there to tell you. 